Good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen, and good evening to our compatriots in Ghana, or whatever it may be, to the millions of viewers across the world. We are gathered here at the auditorium of the University of Professional Studies, Accra, Ghana, for the purpose of adoring the vice presidential candidate of our great National Democratic Congress Party. This event marks a very significant milestone in our journey towards rescuing our nation from maladministration. Even as this event takes place, there is another very important exercise that is ongoing in the country, and that is the registration of voters to participate in the December elections. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the rank and file of our great party for the vigilance and enthusiasm they have shown so far in the conduct of the exercise. Particularly, we are most grateful to our IT directorates and the election directorates for vigilantly assisting us to detect fraudulent activities that had been perpetrated in the conduct of the exercise. Let me thank the youth of Ghana who have risen to the occasion and have shown determination to make a change in their governance and their circumstances. Indeed, most of the work of monitoring the exercise has been with the collective effort of our compatriots in the nooks and crannies of the country, be they NDC or not, to ensure that the right things are done and our right for self-determination is not compromised. Let me take this opportunity to also thank members and personnel of the security services for the work so far done. Those who have shown sufficient nationalism and professionalism in helping to keep vigilantism at bay. Let me also advise a few of the errant security personnel who on some occasions have chosen to be partisan. I'd like to remind them that any time there is any temptation for them to obey unlawful instructions, they should remove their barrettes, look at the crown on it, and remind themselves that their duty is to serve the nation Ghana and not any political party. <laughs> Finally, I have heard it being said that what magic is Nana bringing to the table? Or what new is President Mahama bringing to the table? My answer has been very simple. That the magic is with you, the rank and file of the National Democratic Congress. And the magic is in the youth of Ghana, 
who are dissatisfied and disillusioned with what is happening. And the magic is simply unity. If we are united and determined to make a change in our circumstances, it shall be. But we cannot win election with a divided front. So I'd like to urge everybody who wants to see a change to let us close our ranks. As an organization, decisions may be taken anyway. And it is not possible for decisions to be taken that satisfies everybody. What is important is that the decisions must satisfy the greatest number of our party members. And so after a decision has been taken, our duty is to close our ranks, rally around our leadership, and make sure that the mission of rescuing Ghana is accomplished. This is the time for party members to collectively take ownership of the future John Mahama government. If we all sit aside and expect that President Mahama and Jane would have some magic to perform to bring us to power. Eventually, when the power comes, the government is going to be John Mahama and Jane's government. But if we get our hands and put our shoulders to the wheel, whether we are identified for praise or not, and we do the little bit we can in our various corners, the government that will emerge will truly be an NDC government. Thank you very much, and may God bless our homeland.